what's up guys welcome back to the channel man welcome back to the channel today's video man we're going to talk about these hellcats that were stolen right off the dealership lot and from inside the dealership y'all gotta excuse it man i'm on my way home from work i'm looking rough i need a cut real bad <laughs> but i had to get this video out there guys i had to speak to y'all man y'all already know i always got to talk to my people especially when it comes down to your car and protecting yourself Look like six Hellcats were stolen. It's really just heartbreaking, you know, that, I mean, it's $600,000 worth of cars gone. And that just brings me to this conversation, guys. Is it still worth it to buy a Hellcat? Trust me, I wanted a Hellcat bad probably more than anybody else. But every time I turn on the TV, there's a Hellcat stolen. Six Dodge Challenger Hellcats were stolen around 2 Tuesday morning. Four from inside the Don Franklin Chrysler Dodge Jeep showroom each with keys inside. The other two taken right off the lot. General Manager Adam Bryant says the thieves found the keys for those in the building. You just gotta ask yourself, man, is it really worth it? I mean, especially you got these people that's paying over sticking price for the cars. You're putting down 40, 50, 30, $100,000 to buy this car. You drive it to the store and somebody's stealing. So you gotta really ask yourself, man, is it really worth buying that car? I know it's, it's not the same in all areas, but it seems like it's starting to be worldwide, man. It's like these cars are a hot, hot target. I mean, I don't care where you live at. Especially in my area, man, they steal stuff so much. Um, even if it's in the garage, man, they, they go on the people, they go on inside the dealership. So they came in through the rear garage door. Um, they had some kind of idea how our security system worked, it looked like. Because as Brian says, it took, they believe, at least seven people 40 seconds to drive off with all six Hellcats. I mean, it don't matter where you got this car, what kind of alarm you have, they gonna steal your car, bro. Or just going through the whole hassle of somebody trying to break into your car, damn breaking your windshield, damaging your doors. Dodge don't even care, you know what I'm saying? Like they not even almost trying to do anything about it. And I'm not the one to bite my tongue I know there's a lot of people that cover Mopars. They're not gonna talk bad about Dodge because they want to go to these shows. They want Dodge to, you know, invite them to all these, all this different stuff. But I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all, man. Because even when I had my Scat Pack, I really, I never had any issues or anybody trying to steal it. But it was just a matter of time. For one, I wasn't really out there like that, and um, people didn't really see my car that much. Leave your comments, man. It's, it's just getting out of control. What are you guys doing, man, to protect your Hellcat? Especially now where, you know, they're not making them anymore. So everybody's trying to buy one. Everybody's on the lookout to steal one. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, I wanted a Hellcat worse than anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I really was going to try to go out on them and get me one. All I need is somebody to be trying to steal, hot carjack me or try to steal my Hellcat. That'll be a bad day for somebody. Or me, never know. We always say, oh, we're gonna pull my gun out and this, that. Bruh, you might not get the chance to pull your gun out. What if you got your family with you? You know what I'm saying? Somebody put, get the jump on you and got you and your family at gunpoint for a car. It's just not worth it. Now, I'm not trying to discourage the people who have Hellcats. I mean, you done had your car enough now, but long enough now, you know what to do. You know how to move. So just all I'm saying, guys, is be careful, man, because they going crazy for these cars. So if you don't have a security system, you better get you one. If you don't have a way to protect yourself, um, you need to find out what you need to do, if you can carry. You gotta do all that stuff, man, because they doing any and everything, man, to try to get these Hellcats. So once they trip the alarm, it takes 60 seconds before it starts alerting, you know. So they were gone 20 seconds before the alarm ever went off. I don't know what kind of little security update Dodge claim they have done to protect these cars, but if you if your car not safe at the dealership, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what can you do? I mean, even for my 300, um, I gotta be careful with that car because that car, you know, people gonna want that, especially once I do what I do to it. So I don't know, guys. It's it's, it's just crazy. It's a crazy time we're living in. You can't have nothing. You no, know, nobody wants to work for it. Yeah, them cars are very expensive. And if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. You don't just go out here and take people's stuff, man. But that's the world we live in. Man, nobody care about that nowadays. People just want what they want. And you gotta be ready, man. It take a certain type of person to have a Hellcat. Um, 
And unless you're ready to make, a, if, unless you're ready to jump out there and handle your business when it's come down to it, don't buy a Hellcat or don't buy anything with a Hemi in it. You know what I'm saying? Because even with my 300, if it come down to it, I had to do what I got to do. So if you ain't built like that, don't even buy one of these cars, man. Do not buy one of a Hellcat or anything that got a Hemi in it, Trackhawk, anything like that. Because nine times out of 10, before you know it, it's just a matter of time. You're gonna have to either defend yourself, somebody gonna try to steal it, or it's gonna be something gonna happen with that car. It just is what it is. Unless you live way out in a, on a farm somewhere far out where nobody even know you exist. Um, and you're not on social media. That's the only way you're gonna be able to protect that car. Um, so I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm really kind of upset about it because I just feel bad for y'all, man, because you know, you got your car, you, you hook it up, you, you save up, you buy your nice Hellcat or Scat or whatever it is, and you got these fools out here want to take it from you, or you take your life for it. So protect yourself, protect your car, man, and be ready at all times. When you're in your car, you're in your cat or your scat, just be on point. Don't just be lounging and, and, and just, and, you know, not paying attention to your surroundings. Because trust me, you're in a car that everybody want and, and most people can't afford. So enjoy it, but just protect yourself and protect your property. So if you're new to my channel, man, hit the like button, subscribe, leave your comments, man, what y'all think. Um, just be careful, guys. While five of the vehicles have been found, it still gave the thieves time to get pretty far. Bryant says one was found in Pulaski County on the side of the Cumberland Parkway, one in Adair County, one just south of Bowling Green, one in Tennessee, and another in Alabama. And we have an idea where the last one is. Looks like that they damaged the um, GPS on it, but it's it's picking up. It seems like it's in Alabama. A stolen Dodge Charger leading police on yet another hot pursuit. The chase quickly moves to the freeway. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the video right here. Now, this is the stuff that gives these cars a bad name. Dodge is supposed to have came up with this security fix to stop people from stealing these cars. But every time you turn on the news, this is what you see. Now this thing, you spend all that money on your car, and every time somebody see, every time somebody turn on the news, all they see is a Dodge Charger like this. And now this looks like it may be a RT. I ain't sure, it don't even matter. But this is the reputation that these cars have. And we all know that these cars aren't bad cars. And everybody that's driving them aren't bad people. But this is the image that's being presented every single day. Every time somebody speaks of a Dodge Charger or Challenger, this is the image they got in their head. And it's just sad, man. And I think more could have been done to first save the reputation and the image of these cars and also stop people from stealing them.